Bonjour mes amis. Hello my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Happy New Year and welcome back to Junior Elementary Art Class. Our lesson today is called How We Look at It. For today's lesson, you will need a graphite pencil, an eraser, a ruler, a piece of paper, and your favorite color medium. Today's lesson is about the rule of three. This is a guideline that applies to the process of making visual compositions like paintings, photographs, and drawings. The guideline proposes that an image should be imagined as divided into nine equal parts by two equally spaced horizontal lines and two equally spaced vertical lines, and that all important elements should be placed along these lines and even their intersections. A line of subject with these points creates more interest in the composition than simply centering the subject would. This piece is called Saint Jerome in his study. It's a painting by Jan van Eyck. What elements did you notice first? I noticed Saint Jerome first. He seemed very obvious to me. What elements line up with the rule of three guides? Are these the same elements that you noticed before? For me they were. Saint Jerome actually lines up with two intersections. The rule of three can be found in many great masterpieces throughout history. And many of these artists did this unknowingly. Today, we are going to use it on purpose. Our project today is called Important Palace. Let's start by dividing the bottom and top of the page into three equal parts. Measure the space between your marks with your finger and thumb to make sure they're all close to equal. If they're not, like mine wasn't here, erase them and fix it. If you find this too difficult, don't hesitate to ask mom or dad to help you make this right. Once you have your markers, use your ruler to connect your markers and have your first two vertical guidelines. Now do the same with the right and left sides, making sure that you divide it equally and then use your ruler to connect your markers to create your two horizontal guides to complete your rule of three grid. Now I started with my palace, my castle, and I decided to put it in the top left intersection of the grid to make sure that it's important. I drew this with very simple shapes using rectangles and triangles to draw the entire castle. I used tall rectangles to create the towers on the ends of the walls. You design the castle the way you want to design it to, ma to make it the castle that you would like. Keep adding shapes to make it more and more interesting. I decided to carve out a detail at the top of this wall to make it look more like a castle. I added triangles at the top of my turrets to make it a little more interesting. The side walls, I remembered my first rule of perspective. The smaller, the farther away something is, the smaller it looks. 
to draw them in. That's why the back side of those side walls is actually smaller than the front. I also remembered our lesson on the overlapping planes, and here I decided to draw a hill in front of the castle, as well as a hill behind the castle, to give it um, a little more depth. I erased the part of the castle that was being overlapped. Here I'm adding some details in the sky, and I'm being very careful to avoid my rule of three guides, to make sure that these clouds and this sun don't end up being as important as the castle. I added a few more details to finish off my castle. I added some mountains in the background just to add a bit more interest in my background plane. Now I'm adding another hill in my foreground to add the foreground plane to my composition. And just like our overlapping planes project, I'm adding a road to my hills. This road is getting wider as it gets closer to us. I'm adding a sign in the foreground plane just to make things look a little more interesting. This is a sign that says Castle Ahead. Again, I used very simple shapes to make this sign. Just a couple of rectangles. I also made sure that this sign didn't touch my Rule of Three guidelines. I didn't want it to have as much importance as the castle. Once you're happy with your drawing, you can start using your color medium and color it in. Once you're finished, you'll have a beautiful, complete composition where your castle will be the most important element. Thank you, my friends, for joining Junior Elementary Art Class. I hope you had fun, and I'll see you next week. Au revoir.